Hello my loves, my name is Rulo. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. Today I'm doing a huge beauty haul of all the brand new beauty products I'm gonna be using in 2020. So stay tuned. This is literally a whole bunch of stuff all the way from Black Friday to Christmas. A lot of these things were gifted. So let's just get right into it. I also have prices for most of the products because I know sometimes you guys are interested in that. So let's start with my personal favorite skincare. Okay, when it comes to skincare, I'm sure you guys have heard me say this before. I always, always, always get my skincare from natural grocery stores, whether it be Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, and this is a perfect example of just that. The Derma E Anti Wrinkle Cleanser. This one has vitamin A and glycolic acid. And the one that I have already started using is the Derma E Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. And this one has hyaluronic acid and chamomile. The nice thing about these is that they're 100% vegan, GMO free, cruelty free, it's an ethical product, soy free, recyclable, so really really just love this brand in general and let me tell you this has like transformed my skin already. I have never had such dry skin. This is the first winter where I've had extreme dryness, texture, all of that. And ever since I started using this gentle cleanser um, every day, I have just found my skin to be so much more glowy and dewy and moisturized. So highly recommend both of these. Like I said, I haven't tried the anti-wrinkle cleanser yet. These ones are not expensive at all. I got them at Whole Foods and they were like $10.99 to $13.99, that price range. So definitely worth it. Highly encourage you guys to check these out if you're looking for good cleansers. So now let's talk about some things that I haven't tried out yet. So here we have IT Confidence in an Eye Cream. This brightens, repairs, and transforms, and it's supposed to be like an anti-aging formula. It contains ceramides, chrysin, licorice, avocado, collagen, peptides, green coffee, green tea, hyaluronic acid, and squalene. So anyways, just reading those ingredients made me want to buy this. I mean, who wouldn't? I also got the Estee Lauder Power Pair. This is both the Repair Serum and the Moisture Duo. As you guys can see, these are like the sample versions, which especially for products that are expensive, I always like buying a smaller version before biting the bullet on such a big product. Let me share these prices with you guys. So this is limited edition actually, I didn't know that. But this was literally $15, you guys, which is mind blowing, because I know literally just the, the serum by itself in the normal bottle is like at least $60. So the fact that I can try them both for $15, such a steal. Now, as far as the IT Confidence in a Cream, I know this stuff is not cheap. I did get it on sale, so it was originally $38, and I got it for $19, which isn't bad. Now, the last thing that I purchased for myself is this, at least in the skincare section. I purchased a lot more things for myself, but in the skincare section, I purchased the Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Atomic Heat Mask. So this totally just caught my attention because, listen to this, an atomic flash of water activated heat nourishes and restores for smoother, younger, healthier looking skin with minerals from deep within the earth's crust and botanical extracts of beech tree buds, rosemary, sunflower, apricot, peach, almond, rosehip seed, pomegranate, elderberry. I'm a sucker for good ingredients. So when I read that, man, their marketing just killed me on that one. So really really excited to try this and i've heard that it like really heats up your face anyways looks really interesting the directions is apply generously to clean dry skin massage and leave on for up to three minutes then activate the flash of heat by wetting fingertips with cool water and massaging the mask into the skin once heating sensation diminishes, rinse thoroughly. Oh wow, so this is probably different than most of the things I've generally used. I used to only use sheet masks on my face because A, I was lazy, B, they were cheaper, 
and I honestly didn't find much results with them. So as of lately, I've been using um, face masks, like not sheet masks, but the one that you actually put on your face. And I've noticed they're so much better. Like they really penetrate your pores. And even like after you rub your face with a cloth, like you immediately feel the difference. So I highly recommend to you guys in general, if you've only used sheet masks for your face to try on a mask that really soaks into your pores because it makes a world of a difference. And I don't think I'm ever going back to sheet masks again. This Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Atomic Heat Mask was originally $60 and I got it 50% off for $30. Those are all the skincare items I bought for myself. Now I'm gonna show two items that my mom got me. So, she got me the Pons Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Let me just say Pons as a brand is amazing. They have such great quality moisturizers at such a decent price. I really recommend Pons for those of you who are looking for skincare, especially at the drugstore. I always take Pons moisturizers on travel trips just because they're small, they're handy, and they're affordable, so I don't feel bad if they're, you know, running loose or if it if I need to throw it out or whatnot. Firmer looking skin in two weeks, so I'm really, really excited to try this. I haven't used this exact version of Pons, but I have used, you know, let me actually bring it to show you guys. So this is the Pons I'm currently using. It's the Pons Crema 24 hour moisturizer for dry to very dry skin. Like I said, my skin has never been drier than this ever before. So I've been using this Derma E hydrating gentle cleanser with this 24 hour moisture Pons and it's like an amazing combo. Thank you, mom, for the fancy skincare that my mom got me. She got this Pericone MD Vitamin C Ester Brightening Serum. So once again, she just totally knew it because I actually need a new serum. So really excited to incorporate this into my routine. Let's see what it has in it. So it has vitamin C, rosemary, sodium hyaluronate, palm oil it says powerful ultra fine serum instantly boosts radiance and over time minimizes the appearance of dark spots and discoloration while dramatically smoothing and resurfacing skin's texture multitasking formula features a light and refreshing herbal citrus fragrance and can also be used to help smooth the look of crow's feet and vertical lines around the lips wow so it's actually saying that it can treat wrinkles i just want to see what this looks like so it comes in a glass bottle, which I already love because they're being ethical. You can recycle this. Um, glass can be recycled so many more times than plastic, so that's wonderful. And it comes with a dropper too, which is great for sanitation purposes. So overall, really excited to try this product. Never tried anything from this brand before, but it's backed by a doctor. Okay, now let's move on to makeup sponges, makeup brushes, that kind of thing. When it comes to makeup brushes, the first thing I want to show is actually from Amazon. This makeup brush cleaner, portable, electronic, automatic. You guys, I saw the advertisement for this. And I was like, that's it, I'm sold. I even posted an Instagram story asking you guys if you guys know any faster, quicker way to clean makeup brushes because for me, I mean, I used to only have a few makeup brushes, so it was pretty easy, but now that my makeup brush collection has grown, it just takes, honestly, almost close to an hour to shampoo all of them, dry them, lay them out, and I've also ruined brushes doing it. So this makeup brush cleaner, what it does is it's this little, like, dome bowl, and there's different heads that you attach to the makeup brush, and it will basically just go in there and then spin all the product off. Obviously, you mix, I think, water and soap. And it just spins the brush so fast that all the debris and all the makeup just falls right off of it. So I haven't tried it yet, but I do want to do an unboxing with you guys where I open it up and try it with you guys for the first time. Comment below if you want to see that. I haven't cleaned any of my brushes because I'm waiting to film that. Let me know if you guys want to see that. 
And now for another gift from my beautiful mom. She got me this five piece beauty sponge set. Just one beauty sponge is like $19.99, $20, which is insane. I know before I used a makeup sponge, I thought they'd be like 99 cents. Some cool colors in there. We got some like tie dye colors. This is a Paris Hilton collection. So really excited to try that. Thank you again, mama. Now let's talk about some of the makeup brushes I got. I'm gonna open this brush with you guys for the first time. So this was $15. This is from the Sephora collection. One of those curved fluffy brushes. This is great for highlighting. It's great for bronzer. Next, I got another Sephora brush. This is the Pro Contour Blender. It was $17. So it's like a flattened dome, which is really good for getting into, you know, the contours of your face. I currently don't have any brushes that are meant for contouring besides my Real Technique set. I bought this as a backup. But last but not least, I got this It Cosmetics brush from Ulta. This is the Velvet Luxe Impress Fan Brush. So as you guys can see, this is like a very thick, fluffy brush for um, highlight, anything that's like powder consistency. You could even use this to wipe off translucent powder after baking. I'm really, really excited to use this. It Cosmetics brushes are always really high quality. This was originally $48, you guys. Like, that's a lot but I paid $20. Now I wanna quickly talk about just a few OPI nail polishes that I picked up from Ulta. They were on sale for $5.25 a piece, so I figured why not? I honestly only own like two nail polishes, so now I have three more to add to my collection. So I got a wide range of colors as you can see. I got like this deep blood vampire red color, which I love for the holidays, even for Valentine's Day. Um, then I got a color that kind of just replicates your own nail color. This is great for just kind of making everything look put together. You really can't go wrong with this nude color. It's so classic, so timeless, and matches with any outfit. And then last but not least, I got this pink mauve color. It's beautiful, looks really great on my skin tone. Let me read you guys these colors. So the blood red one is called Como Se Ama. What is your name? The nude one that's perfect for like any day, every outfit is called Samoan Sand. And then this beautiful pink color is called Somewhere Over the Rainbow Mountains. So now I want to talk about some body care products like scrubs and that sort of thing. The first one was a beautiful gift from my friend Sunny. It's called Scrub Down. It's a coconut oil smoothing body scrub from Victoria's Secret. This stuff smells heavenly. So heavenly. And it's not a harsh scrub either. I've already started using this and it just feels so good when you're gliding it over your skin. I know some scrubs can be very harsh and have like really um, kind of like beads in texture. This one is not like that at all. Like, like I said, it literally think of coconut oil with just like a little bit of sugar or something in there that gives you that nice really soft scrub this makes your skin feel so smooth literally right after you wash this off your body you can immediately feel like you just put lotion on so love 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 this stuff now let's talk about two products i got myself so let me get prices for these this one isn't the most glamorous thing, but I'm still mentioning it. And it is the Coconut and Charcoal Underarm Detox Scrub. It's 100% vegan, it's cruelty free. Now let me explain why I bought this. I am really, really, really trying to get into natural deodorant. I have literally transitioned everything into natural products, including, um, you know, my skincare, including the soaps I use, including the shampoos, the body wash, and the only thing that I can't happen to find a good version of is deodorant. I've tried so many natural deodorants, I literally have a cabinet full of them, and I just can't seem to find one that I like. 
So when I read about this underarm scrub, apparently what this is supposed to do is get all the toxins out of the pores from your underarms before you transition into a natural deodorant. So basically their whole um, kind of explanation here is that when you're transitioning from toxic deodorants to natural ones, there are still remnants of that toxicity in your pores. So until you actually scrub those away, you're not going to have much success with the natural deodorants. Now, I don't know if this is true, but I'm here to test it out and let you guys know. It was originally $15 and I got it on sale for $10.50. I really want to make the transition to non-toxic deodorants, so I really hope that this can help me achieve that. The last kind of body care product I have to show you guys is this Pacifica Sugared Crystal Supercharged Body Scrub. It's foaming, exfoliating, energizing, and it has sugar, watermelon, and quartz in there. Once again, this brand Pacifica, it's vegan, cruelty-free. You guys can see this is like a recurring theme with all my products. I always like paying that quality price for good items. So this has pretty cool ingredients. It has oat, which is great for your skin. It has watermelon. Haven't used it yet, but I will definitely let you guys know how it is. I love this Pacifica brand in general. I'm currently using their shampoo conditioner. I'll leave a photo up right here for you guys. It's like the pineapple something one for curly hair. I've fallen in love with it. It's easily become one of my favorite shampoo conditioners. So I'm excited to try this. This was originally $16 and I got it on sale for $11.20. Okay, now let's get into hair care. So I got a shampoo conditioner. Um, this is from Ulta, I believe. I will double check right now when I look up the price. But this is the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture shampoo and conditioner. This is for dry hair, which I'm suffering from extremely dry hair, especially now that I've started straightening it again. I mean, beauty comes at a cost, right? So I decided to add these to my collection. I don't have a collection of shampoo and conditioner, so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> like I just mentioned, I'm currently using the Pacifica Pineapple Shampoo and Conditioner, and I love it. This is just kind of going to be for those fancier showers, um, but I do plan on sticking with that pineapple one. I mean, it's affordable and it's doing the trick, so so far I love it. So this is originally $52, and I got it for $33.80, so around like $67 for both. I've never really had luxury hair care products. Like I said, I usually buy mine at the drugstore, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. So this is like my first time getting a luxury hair care set and I feel like I deserve it. So Ulta gave this to me for free just because I bought that set and the one for my sister. So this is the Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture CC Cream. The funny thing is as soon as I read CC Cream, I assumed it was like for your face, but it's actually for your hair. So this is a 10 in one correction leave-in and it's supposed to give your hair these benefits. So moisture, shine, smoothness, softness, UV protection, manageability, strength, anti-breakage, heat protection, and light hold. So it's promising a lot and I really expect great things from this guy. It was free, I don't know what the original price was, but I definitely think I'm gonna use this when I'm using the shampoo conditioner to really, really, um, maximize the benefits that I can get from this product. Now another gift for my beautiful mom is this Bamboo Smooth Candy Oil Dry Oil Mist. It's for ultimate frizz control for medium hair types and it's free of parabens and synthetic color. She's so cute. She knows I'm like all about the no parabens, no sulfate. So she was like, I made sure it was non-toxic. That's true love. It says spray liberally throughout damp hair and style as usual. May also be used on dry hair to eliminate frizz and enhance shine. Mm. I'm actually gonna use some right now. So I really love this stuff. I've already started using it 
and it really does give my hair more shine. I'm not really sure if it helps with the frizz, but I know it definitely gives your hair shine. So, so far I'm loving this. Last but not least in the hair care section, I got this beautiful, beautiful Sephora Favorites Iconic Hair gift set from my beautiful friend Amanda. Thank you so much. It's really funny because I honestly don't splurge on my hair ever. Maybe I'll splurge on makeup, um, fashion, that sort of thing, skincare for sure. But when it comes to hair, I kind of just do whatever. And so it was so sweet of Amanda to get this for me. I'm gonna show you guys each product one by one kind of fast just because there's a lot of them the only one that I've tried already is the Amika soul food nourishing mask love it love 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 it this stuff smells amazing and you only have to leave it in for five to seven minutes which is really nice because you can just do it while you're washing your body or maybe using your body scrub so really love this mask so far next we have the living proof full dry volume blast this is instant lasting volume and texture Believe it or not, I don't own any hairspray. So this will be my first hairspray. Really excited to use this. I've seen a lot of influencers use this brand. We have the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. This is a heat UV protective primer. This is great, especially now that I've started straightening my hair and even curling it and applying heat. Definitely need a protective um oil i currently use a protective spray but i definitely feel like oils get more inside every strand of hair so i'm excited to incorporate this next time i use heat oh all these things smell so good especially that amika hair mask okay next i have the igk mistress hydrating hair balm this is a leave-in conditioning balm that won't weigh your hair down it says this is for dry coarse or frizzy hair and it helps achieve smooth soft hydrated hair you can apply it to damp or dry hair and then you just blow dry it out okay this is cool so this is like a leave-in conditioner oh my god everything smells like coconut I feel like that's a very popular ingredient for hair products. Next, we have Diva Curl, which is a brand that I'm familiar with and I've used. Um, I actually don't have this exact product. This is the Super Cream Define and Control Curl Styler. Diva Curl is a really, really famous brand, especially for someone doing the curly hair journey. If you are doing your curly hair journey, I encourage you to check out Diva Curl because they have a whole line of products all for natural hair. I'm definitely going to use this on my natural curly hair days. Thank you, Amanda. Once again, I'm loving all of this. <laughs> Next, I have this Christoph Robin Scrub Levant Purifont. Oh my God, am I speaking a different language? It's a cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt. Okay, so it says this purifying shampoo is ideal as a detox or post coloring treatment. Apply on wet hair, massage into the scalp, lather than rinse use a nourishing treatment on links and ends if needed i've never ever used a scrub on my scalp so that's cool this is the product that amanda mentioned to me i guess this is one of like the most well-known products it's the Kerastase paris resistance glacage thermo seal vita cement oh my gosh they really need to cut down these names guys but it's basically a resurfacing strengthening milk blow dry care for damaged hair so what i get from this is it's a leave-in that you're supposed to use before you do a blowout um, and it's supposed to really maintain like the moisture of your hair and the shine and all that so excited to try that i can't figure out what that smell is it's like more fruity i don't know next we have this triple sec three-in-one finishing spray so this is basically just another hairspray we have the way which is a really really famous hair brand rose hair and body oil this is really cool because you can use it on your hair or your body I'm sure this would be perfect after that scalp scrub or even after you scrub your body down. Throw some rose oil on it, why not? Two more products in this one. So we have Briogeo, which I've heard a lot of on YouTube. This is the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. 
and there's no harsh sulfate silicones parabens anytime I receive like a mini shampoo like this I love taking it with me on my travels that way I'm not restricted to using the hotel shampoo so this is definitely one that I would try oh and it's a micro exfoliating scalp shampoo what's up with all these scalp scrubs I didn't even know we were supposed to scrub our scalp last product in here it's the Moroccan oil treatment apply a small amount throughout damp or dry hair Moroccan oil, argan oil, grapeseed oil, all those oils are so good for your hair. So I'm just absolutely blown away with this set. I love it. I know I've only used one product so far, but right after this video, I'm taking all these out and putting them in my cabinets in the bathroom so I can start using them on a daily basis. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you the cutest pair of slippers right before we get into the last category, which is makeup. So these slippers are absolutely adorable. First off, polka dots. I didn't plan this, but it does match my top. These were gifted to me from my beautiful friend, Sunny. Okay, first off, how cute. Like I generally buy slippers from Walmart for like six, seven dollars and then just throw them out after a few months. But these are just so cute and they come in the cutest little dust bag. I love these slippers and I'm definitely going to start wearing them right after today's video. So thank you again, Sunny. I love it. She also got me some other things, some like um, perfumes and things like that. I decided not to include perfumes in this video just because. I don't know, does perfume count as beauty? I'm not sure, but I couldn't really decide whether perfume counts as beauty, but just know I did get some new perfumes also for the start of the new year. And if you guys want to see that in a future video, let me know, but I didn't include it in today's. I left the best for last, makeup. So first I want to talk about these free samples that were given to me um, before I get into the products that I actually paid for. So these are just little perfume samples. I also have these um, <clears throat> Dermalogica Phyto Replenish Oil samples that Ulta gifted me. One day I was just asking about this product and they gave it to me, so definitely going to try that out. Um, I've never tried Dermalogica brand, so let me know in the comments if you guys have tried it and if you recommend it. I know it is a pricier brand, so I always want to be like very certain before I make that purchase. They also gifted me a few foundations, so they gifted me the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. This is in the color Y335. I always find foundation samples to be kind of weird because I'm like, do they expect everyone to fit the same shade of color? Like, shouldn't they ask you what your shade is before they provide a sample? I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts because sometimes I get samples and they are just way too light or too deep for my complexion. And then I just wait until I have a friend who like can use it. So then there's a Giorgio Armani, very fancy, luminous silk foundation. I know so many influencers talk about this foundation. I've never used it personally, so I'm really excited to try. And it comes in this little container here. This is in color nine. And then they gave me a Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation in the color Maple. This one definitely looks like it would be too dark for me. So I could use it as a contour or something to darken up my cheeks. I don't know. I'll make use of it somehow. So now let's get into the actual products. First, I want to show the cutest box that Anastasia sent me. So I purchased some things for myself as well as some Christmas presents from there. And because my order was above like $50, I think they gave me this free, really cute pink box. So I put all my makeup products in there and let's talk about them. So the first thing I want to show you is a repurchase. The Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. You guys, this is a game changer. I'm not going to go back to any other um, setting sprays after this one. I mean, obviously, if I'm traveling, I can't take this huge thing. But as long as I'm home, you best believe I'm using this. The number one reason is just the way that the mist comes out of this product is so evenly distributed. You don't get any of those watermarks or droplets on your face. Um, also, it has grapeseed oil in it. It has cucumber. It has papaya. So, I mean, I don't think it's the most ethical product, but it definitely has some good ingredients on there. 
So highly recommend this. I got this from Ulta. It's originally $16. I had a $6 um, reward. So I ended up getting it for $10.78, which is still overpriced in my opinion, but totally worth it. Since I showed you a higher end product, let's talk about a low end product. This is a new drugstore bronzer that I picked up. I currently only own one bronzer and it's the Butter Bronzer, the Physician Formula one. And I heard Roxette talk about this City Bronzer in her like top makeup of 2019 video. So I had to go pick it up. It's like $7.99 and she said it's a dupe for the Hoola bronzer which I know everyone talks about and so I got this in color 200 it's a bronzer and contour powder I just love how this shade has like an ashy tone but not too much so you can either use it as a contour or a bronzer really really excited for this one um Next, let's talk about the Anastasia stuff. So two of the things were repurchases. Um, I know I said in a previous video that I wouldn't repurchase because it didn't last long enough, but here I am. I repurchased the Brow Wiz in the color Ebony. This is just such an easy way to fill in my eyebrows without using like a brush and a powder um, and going in. This is just so easy because the shape of the pencil just really lets you line the outlines easily and fill it in. Also, it comes with a brush on the other side. It did break the first time I purchased this so I really hope the brush doesn't break this time because that was one of the reasons I didn't want to buy it again but I gave it another shot so I got this from Anastasia and then I also picked up the clear brow gel again so the brow whiz was $18.52 and the clear brow gel was $17.71 so I don't know what the original prices were but I know that's what I paid for them um, next, I got two lip glosses for myself. So the top color is Gilded. It's this gold color. And the bottom one is this pink, this like muted pink color called Vintage. So I'm going to just open them up so you guys see the actual color. Gilded looks like this. As you guys can see, it's a pretty gold glittery color. This is great on top of like bronzy lipsticks or nude lipsticks, just adding that touch of gold sparkle right in the middle. I love that. So as you guys can see, it's not so much a rosy pink as much as it is a muted pink. So this is the vintage color. It's really pretty. It goes really well with my skin tone. I haven't tried their lip glosses before. Let's end off with two mascaras. So I finally bought my first luxury mascaras. I always buy mascaras from Maybelline, from the drugstore, and they work great, but I was like, okay, it's on sale and it's time for me to bite the bullet and try these. So the one on the top is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara which is originally $24 and I got it for 10, such a steal. That's like more than 60% off. And then the bottom is the Tarte Man Eater Voluptuous Mascara, which is originally $23, also on sale for $10. Last but not least, we have this Becca Endless Summer Glow. So at the top, you have a highlight color. Here you have a blush color. And then in the bottom, you have this bronze contour color. Okay, so my camera just died on me while I was talking about that last product. I didn't tell you guys the price yet. It was $22.80. But what I was saying before the camera turned off on me was that I was on the lookout for a new highlighter, for a new bronzer, for a new contour. And when I found this three in one, I was like, hey, might as well just try this. Instead of buying three separate items, I just had to buy that one. And with that being said, that completes my huge beauty haul. All the new beauty products I'll be trying for 2020. Comment below what your favorite item that I mentioned was. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell so you can be notified next time I post. I'll see you guys so soon. Mwah.